But while the teams charge on around the Nordschleife, everything is looking very different. Some professional, some amateur, but at the Volkswagen factory team, everything seems to be well planned and very organized. They have brought no less than 40 team members on site to run this effort with the factory diesel cars. Andre van der Vaart, head of Volkswagen Motorsport, told us more about it. Well, we've got team members from Hanover, he said, are responsible for all our racing program. The engineering team from Wolfsburg is responsible for development, and all of them now working here together to really help us to win the race. And that's professional, but on the other hand, they're the small privateer teams, preparing with less manpower, less technical equipment, but really taking it as carefully and uh, methodically as the big factory teams. But of course, they've got a different goal. Over to Volta Kast. Well, the only thing that counts really is to be part of the 24 hours, he said. Uh, you've got no chance of winning without having the financial backing that the factories enjoy. But this doesn't matter because to take the chequered flag after 24 hours, for most of us amateurs, that is success. Hospitality uh, facilities differ as well. All this camping equipment, all well organized catering in a private family atmosphere. This is, after all, a holiday weekend. Everything you need. And that runs right up to the professional catering of the factory teams. We're back on the track, everyone getting ready for night. Drivers drink bottles laid out and lights now being fitted by those teams that haven't been running with them since the start of the race. When the night light comes on, lights must be shown. But problems already. The number four Golf GTI and Mikhail Denerder, the act leader, had an accident, a collision with the 66 BMW. Thanks to good work by Marshalls, he's able to make it back to the pits, but there's a lot of work waiting for the mechanics to replace the complete left hand side drivetrain. A big, big problem for the golf team, and look at that, flat tyre as well as a lot of body damage. And this means a lead for the number 28 car, the 1996 winners of Sabine Reck and Johannes Schneid. There's the BMW headlights ablaze. And behind them in second place, the 170 Golf TDI, driven by German Touring Car Cup racer Christian Abd. After a 55 minute pit stop, the number one car of Harold Groves gets back into the race with a new engine installed. 55 minutes, how about that? Also back in the 172 BMW 318 diesel. Do at the wheel at the moment, but Christian Menzel and Johannes Scheid are waiting for the pit stops. Menzel will take over from Duez. Those problems of fuel injection earlier in the race drop them way back into 89th position overall. Well, night's come, and just to help the drivers on this long, long night here in Germany, the weather is getting worse and worse. Out goes Menzel, as down comes the rain. Donner and Blitzen on the Nordschleife. Well, the 23 Audi S2 Quattro, Mollig, Wilbert and Schulter has its problems as well. It's had ignition failure due to overheating. And a lot of unplanned pit stops have dropped them way back in the order. Nonetheless, they still seem to be optimistic. Driver friends Rudolf Wilbert told us. 
Well, if we have no more technical problems, then it's still possible we can finish among the top ten. Of course, all the leading cars seem to have had problems, uh, but the car that's leading at the moment hasn't, but anything can happen. Johannes Scheider still in the lead in the number 28 BMW. Last year's winner. And Sabine Reck waiting for her turn. She'll be taking the car over round about midnight. After the handover, we had a quick word with Johanna Scheider. Well, we're keeping to our tactics, they're all well planned, we're not pushing too hard and we're just running to a pace that we set before the race. Out he goes, back into the race, still leading. And there's the standings after eight hours of racing of the 24. Christian Abt, Chris Nissen in second place. And the Gindorf, Wolfsgruber Gehring, Froma BMW there in third place. All those cars one lap back now on the 1996 winner. Well, now the heavy rain really sets in and it's getting busy. People coming in now to change to wet tyres. They were on slicks and intermediates. Now it's super, super wet if you've got them because the Nordschleifer is perhaps the most vicious circuit in the whole world when it rains. Night, rain, blind brows, trees, 133 cars on the track. Everything you don't want when you're in a race. keeping everyone informed about what's going on is the public address. Well, 4.30 in the pit lane at the 20 hours. We're slowing down now. Everyone's changing tyres. And of course, far out on the other side of the circuit, the fans still watching the action in the early morning hours. Unlike many of those working in the pit. What else could you be doing on a Sunday morning? At five o'clock in the morning, Roland Senger is out. Everything was going fine, he said. The pit crew was great and we were up into sixth or maybe seventh position overall without any risk. We are trying to keep this pace until noon and then we could attack for a better position. But then, absolutely no warning. Total engine failure. One of those things, just bad luck, it was nobody's fault. The uh, car wasn't over -rived. Engine just broke. So, the 24 hours taking a big toll this year. We'll be back after the break. Drivers out, drivers okay. But Marshalls have a lot of work to do to clear the track. That's the Christian Menzel, Mark Douay car, so it's all over for them in a big, big way. Mini Cooper and George Weber making up for lost ground after in 93rd place for 16 hours. Slow lap times in a wet track though. Here's Ian Green in one of the Ford Falcons. 
with their setup problems now solved, the BMW 320 of George Severish on a charge. And here's one of the David and Goliath battles going on in this race. Chris Nissen in the Golf TDI, lapping the Mini Cooper of Wolfgang Forster for the 24th time. In the lead still though, after that long night, the BMW M3 with Johannes Scheider on board. Last year's winning car. Let's have a look at one of the pit stops. This is the 114 Mini Cooper of Michael Hess. Well, we had a bit of an exciting night. We had to change the cylinder head gasket, so we lost an hour. Until then, we've been fourth in our class. Now we're a bit back on the rest of them. Our only goal now can be to finish the race. So, not a problem. We're thoroughly enjoying it. We love running these little British cars. I've always loved the Mini Coopers, and uh, what better way to do the 24 hours than in a retro car? Jetzt leider die Zylinderkopfdichtung. Wir wollen einfach das Auto jetzt ins Ziel bringen. Das ist einfach jetzt das, was uns noch bleibt. Und wenn wir das schaffen, sind wir auch zufrieden. Number of the casualties in the night. The Astra GSI of Kisling Motorsport with Hans Orom. Now 59th in the race because during the night they had to repair engine damage. So did the number four Golf in the morning hours. That had engine damage as well, but that's creeping up into the top 10.